I've owned Jazz Masters before, but I've never owned one quite like this. This is a MJT Jazz Master parts build, I guess. Uh, let's have a look at it. It's pretty dang awesome. Let's have a look. Throughout the years, I've been looking for a Jazz Master that would fit me well. I used to own the Classic Player one. Didn't really vibe with it. After a while, I kind of sold it and to finance a new guitar, of course. Uh, <laughs> you know how it goes. But I kept my eyes open and I found this MJT body here secondhand in Sweden. Now, this finish is Lake Placid Blue. It's heavily relic uh, and super lightweight. It's 1.8 kilos, which is uh, super lightweight actually for a Jazzmaster. The, the old one that I used to have was really heavy, really heavy. So I really, really like this one. I really like this one. It took me a while to find all the components for this. I mean, I spread it out throughout a year maybe to find something that would fit this guitar. Since it is relic, I kind of wanted something that would fit the guitar pretty well. So yeah, let's start with the pickguard. The pickguard is an aged one. Hopefully you can see it, maybe not, maybe it's too bright. It's kind of parchment white-ish. Uh, the, the bridge is a conversion tail, hardtail bridge, which is stainless steel, brushed stainless steel, bought from Expressway Guitars on Reverb. Uh, so I made it a hardtail. Most people probably wouldn't do that, but since I kind of wanted a rock machine, this is perfect for me. I bought a bus stop. Some people will probably hate me for this. I might take it off actually, I'm not completely sure. I have a state tram bridge, which is uh, difficult to find, or I mean, they sell out a lot and quickly. This thing stays in tune and keeps the strings right where it's supposed to be. This setup just works really well for me. Um, yeah. It's nice, I really like it. For the insides of the body, I bought some shielding tape from all parts and just taped up the whole thing insides. Maybe I can show you some video of it somewhere on the screen. The shielding will help with the noise that come from the pickups since it's P90 pickups. Uh, I'm gonna talk about those a bit more later. For electronics, I got in contact with James Home of Tone and got a harness to put inside. It's a lead circuit Jazzmaster harness, which means basically it's pretty straightforward. It doesn't have this part at all. It's just volume, volume and tone and a switch. Like super straightforward because I don't, I don't, I, I never used this part of the Jazzmaster. It was just there. And maybe if I ever used it, I used it as a kind of kill switch thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't need it, especially not for like a simple build like this. And buying the James harness just helped with everything because I'm not good with soldering and that whole part was just solved and it sounds amazing. The pots that are inside this is 550K. Yeah, it sounds really good. It was super easy to put together. Uh, I highly recommend you buying harnesses if you're new to this or if you don't like soldering. It just sounds really good and he just makes it so easy. He sends instructions and everything. I'm gonna put up a picture of how the thing looks. Uh, yeah, he made it really easy. I'm super thankful for that, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Let's talk about the pickups. Now, I was researching what type of pickups I should get for this guitar and decided firmly on instead of going with standard Jazzmaster pickups, I went with P90s because I don't have a P90 guitar. So I felt like 
I should uh, should uh, put some uh, P90s in this and see uh, how I like it. And I mean, it sounds amazing. I mean, if you haven't played P90s before, it's kind of a mix between single coils and a humbucker. It just it's so punchy and throaty, uh, and has a lot of like string separation and clarity. These pickups are so good. They're so good. Best P90 I've ever played so far. I haven't tried their like original P90s yet, but I probably will now because these just sound so incredibly good. Now, uh, one thing I was worried about was the noise level coming from the P90 pickups, but luckily, I mean, these are really quiet. I have no idea if it's the shielding that I did in combination with the pickups, but the, I mean, it's dead quiet. Which was interesting because I kind of thought it would be super noisy and I would have to like heavily control the uh, the noise that was coming out from the pickups. Some probably like, you know, Mexican radio stuff. Uh, but no, no problems at all. It just sounds really good. Yeah, all the best parts of a P90 pickup and it's really quiet too. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. The pickups are the standard configuration if you select their P90 Jazzmaster set. It's, let me check, let me check the numbers. It, the bridge is 9.4 and the neck is 8.5 in output. So it's, I mean, it's not that much when you, in terms of output, but I mean, it kind of sounds like they're more, like they're pretty hot, actually. I was surprised. 9.4 isn't that hot, but with these, it sounds, yeah, it's, it, it has, it delivers a punch. I highly recommend these pickups for a rock guy. Uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with P90s for sure. I know that some of you will agree with me. I have some people who are really into P90s. Gonna probably comment on this part uh, just for rock, any type of rock, post hardcore, uh, stuff like that. It just sounds great. It sounds, sounds great. Yeah. So yeah, let's, let's listen to those a bit more. Yeah, for sure. For the like weird part of this guitar, I would say the neck. This neck is a Stratocaster neck. It's from my Mexican Stratocaster. Basically, I switched them out. Uh, I can show you. I mean, this is a rosewood neck, 21 frets. I mean, standard tuners, Fender ones. And the radius is 9.5. Uh, to match the state trim that I have on this one. Uh, yeah, nothing special to say. It plays just fine. Action is really low. I mean, if it's set up good, then you won't have a problem. Let me show you the strat that it came from. All right, so this is the guitar that used to have that neck. Um, for this one, I got a Wormuth, new Wormuth neck. And we're gonna look at this guitar. It's modeled after a guy that I really like who plays in four years strong. So let's let's have a look at this at some point. But for now, this neck is on this one. Maybe I might switch them out at some point, but for now this is really good because I like I like the rosewood on a Yas Master. It looks good. Uh, but for strats I kinda want a maple one. This one is roasted. Of course you gotta have the roasted necks. <laughs> So would I recommend you putting together a Jazz Master for yourself? Yes, yes, do it. If you need a project or want a project to do, you should probably buy, buy one of these bodies. I mean, they're super light and if you're into the relic thing, yeah, this is for you. This is for you. I mean, look at this. Look at it. It's so awesome. Every detail about this body is great. I mean, this part. Again, yeah, the carb just looks great. So I highly recommend you putting something 
like this together if you can. I mean, it's super easy since everything is underneath the pickguard for the most part. Um, it's really easy. Price-wise, I bought the body for around $300. Uh, and then, I mean, the pickups are lollers, so they're definitely expensive, but so worth it. And the harness wasn't that bad from what I remember. The rest of it I already basically had at home. So the whole project was maybe $800 or something. Uh, that's excluding the neck since I already had one. Uh, if you're buying a neck, then maybe, yeah, it's gonna go up a bit. But you could put together a dream guitar. That's the thing. It's super easy. So, I mean, why not? Why not try it out? See if it works out for you. And the only downside of it, I guess the only downside is it's difficult to sell. It's probably easier to like break down the whole thing completely and sell it like each part separate. That's the whole thing if you kind of want to sell it. But I mean, I feel like if you have a parts caster, you should probably just keep it. Keep it as a thing you can try new things on. Buy new pick cards, try out new pickups, new wirings, whatever, new necks. Everybody should have a project because it's good to know how a guitar works and that part definitely helps. So yeah, buy, buy one and do it. I think it's, it's good knowledge. If you have any questions about this guitar or any of the other guitars I have in my little room here, please write a comment down below. Also, let me know if you built your own parts caster. I mean, it doesn't have to be a Jazzmaster, it could be a Strat or a Tele, something. Just tell me and show me pictures because we all want to see pictures of gear. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. Uh, all parts and stuff will be listed in the description down below so you can check those out. I'm going to list all parts of this guitar so you can see it and have it if you want to build a similar thing. Uh, yeah, that's it guys. Talk soon. Putting a Jazz Master, Master, Master.